So how many of you guys know that as we go through life, we, we often have a life that is full of just stuff, full of things, full of opportunities, full of things that we don't want to do, things that we should do that we aren't. And there's just so many things on our to-do to list, our task list, uh, our weekly list, our, our annual reviews and job goals and promotions. We all have things and we all have lives that are just full, full of everything. And I want to talk to you today just briefly uh, about a scripture in Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 through 34. It says, Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these thing, things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things, sufficient for the day in its own trouble. I want to talk to you today about the fact that you can't do everything. You just can't. I mean, just, just take a second, pause, and look at your last week. How many of you guys would admit and are confident enough to say that I just didn't get everything done, right? We've all been there. We all do that. And yet we go from week to week thinking this week might be different. And we continue to put things in our schedule and cram things and add things and commit to things. And, and our, our motives for that are always different. But everything is so full that oftentimes we lose track on the things that matter most. I, 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 I've had an iPhone for, oh, I can't even remember. I think I had one of the most original ones. And I always, up to that point, had thought, if I could always just get an iPhone, then my life will be completely organized. Everything will fall into place. I'll have every tool I need right in my own pocket. And so I got, the, I got my iPhone, and I got the apps that I wanted. And I soon realized that I actually had less time now than I've ever had before because I was being distracted by just the accessibility and the overwhelming possibilities of what this technology that was supposed to save me hundreds of hours was actually taking up more time. And I feel like that's often how we, we live our lives. We live our lives thinking, oh, if I just do this, or if I, if I just had this, or if I just take this opportunity, or, or maybe if I, if I do this, then things will start to work out. But I, I really want to emphasize what Jesus is saying here to, to his disciples. He says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. You see, we need to seek him first. He needs to be our first choice in everything. You know, there's a lot of reasons we don't get things done, and, and a lot of it has to do with just the uh, availability of stuff. Sometimes it's because we just can't say no. But when we, when we say yes to everything, we're actually saying no to many things. And there's many reasons of why we just don't accomplish what we're supposed to do. But I'm reminded of Jeremiah 29, 11, where, where uh, the prophet says, or God says to the prophet Jeremiah, I know the plans that I have for you. You see, God knows the plans he has for us. And so why do we so often try to take things into our own hands and make things work? You see, we try to fill our schedule to accomplish a task or we try to fill our time with things that we think are important but we never actually seek him and here he is saying all along listen i know i know the plans i have for you i know what's available to you i know the options that you have i know everything that's before you i know the plans that i have for you so come and seek me and i will give everything that i have to you that's a good promise I mean, that's a, that sounds like a good life, to live the life that we've been asked to live. I can't think of anything more fulfilling. You see, he knows the plans he has for you. So can we just decide and commit to seek him today and choose him first in all things?